Hey everyone, it's Molly. I'm uh, just hanging out at my house. It is 12, 16 p.m. I'm drinking some some old coffee from way earlier this morning and yeah, I'm just gonna get into this video. So as you can see, my desktop is extremely cluttered. I thought it would be super fun to do a gift haul today and sort of just take you through all of the recent gifts that I've um, saved and sh show them to you, tell you where I got them. Basically, just do a gift haul and do that before I put them away um, into their respective folders. Let's do this thing. So I'm going to open up my finder and I'm going to go to my desktop. And this is where all of the gifts live. Um, obviously you can see them behind me, but um, for sort of organizational clarity's sake, we're going to look through them in this folder instead of on my desktop. The first GIF that I, or the first batch of GIFs that I got are um, these mushroom GIFs, and I'm just going to open a couple of them. They're all really sweet. A lot of them are bouncing. I wonder if you can zoom in. No, you can't zoom in. Okay. So you're just going to have to like really look closely because a lot of the gifts that I got are also quite small. So yeah, I found all of these mus mushroom gifts on a website called Mini Graphics. I might be wrong. That might not be the name of the website. I will link it below um, once I figure out what exactly it is. I know I have it bookmarked. This one doesn't move. But yeah, they're just really cute um, mushrooms. Some of them are, have faces, some of them don't. These ones are really sweet. They're just changing colors. Um, these are swaying. Oh, those are so sweet. And I honestly could have spent a lot more time gathering things off of this mini graphics um, website. This was only from the first page of mushrooms. They were like 10 pages of mushrooms. It was a lot, honestly. And I, at the time, I just, I had already been sort of like going somewhere else for stuff. So I just, I didn't, I knew I could spend like all day devoting my downloading capabilities to mini graphics or whatever the site's called, I promise I will tell you. Um, so I really just was like, okay, I'm going to bookmark it. I will get back to it later. I'm not going to go down this hole, um, this mushroom hole. But mini graphics had other stuff. It wasn't just mushrooms, but like I said, I just, I just didn't have time. So I think the rest of the gifts that I'm going to show you are from Tumblr. They are from a specific Tumblr. I will link it below. I have to look up where it is. So this first one is this beautiful bear gift. You can tell that I love bears. I have my bear behind me. So I'm always very interested in bear graphics and bear gifts. This one is so sweet because he's crying. It's just, I just like love that single tear. It's just so, so sweet. This is just a really simple glitter graphic that says I was born a princess. It's just pink glitter graphics. I'm, I love glitter graphics. I think they look really good. I love the text glitter graphics. I like when I know that a text glitter graphic was made back in the heyday of glitter graphics as opposed to current ones. I think they're like subtle signifiers that you can tell. This one could go either way. I really don't know if it was made in 2007 or if it was made in 2017. Um, so it's sort of a timeless classic in that way. <laughs> this next one is just this really beautiful like sparkling 
Starfield. A lot of these style gifts that I see on Tumblr, I always think usually come from animated shows or like animes. There are entire Tumblr blogs dedicated to them. There are never enough sparkly glitter graphic, uh, not glitter graphic, like sparkly sparkle gifts. Like I need more and I, I don't know where to find them. This is not even like, like if this were like transparent, we would be like really in business. Next one is these amazing bugs. It's, I love insects. I love like overlaying insects. I think they're really cool. I love that they're just sort of spinning. It almost seems like someone just made a gif out of a bunch of gifs. I also got these series of little houses. I got this one, which is I believe a mushroom. And then there's, sorry, I, had to, I didn't mean to show you that. Uh, the pumpkin is so sweet, and the strawberry house. I'm obsessed with the strawberry house. It's A plus. This one was a little strange. It's like a bowl of water, or maybe like a bowl of soup. But I thought it was really cool, and I hadn't seen anything really like it, um, so I decided to get that. Speaking of houses, this is another house gift. I love when a gift is like a little bit delayed, so you're not sure if it's gonna move. I love a 3D spinning gift. I, the orange slice is beautiful. I, it's shiny, it looks really good. This is an apple being cut. I know I downloaded some other app, like fruit apples, maybe tomato, and there you'll see it in a little bit. I love this clothesline. I also got a couple of clothesline things. This is very like my middle school to me or like it's just very sort of, I don't know, it's like reminiscent of 2002 or something, I don't know. This is a very simple, also not moving. Some of these aren't moving. I, I'm mixing it up, uh, <laughs> but they're all gifts. And this is just a simple welcome gift. I thought it was just really cool, sort of alluding to the homepage being your home or your um, living room. So I liked that. This is a great one. I, I think I thought it meant like from an angel, not I get my graphics from angel. I don't know who angel is. I'm assuming that angel is a now defunct website but I thought it was cool it sort of had a cool like vintage feel to it so that's why I got that I love windows you'll see a couple of windows pop up in my my hall here's a Rubik's Cube I don't know why it gets bigger like did you notice that it gets like slightly bigger yeah 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 so I don't know if I like the fact that it gets bigger because I don't really see the point in it, but I thought it was cute nonetheless, so there it is. Love this, think it's really cool. Don't have a lot to say to it, forgot that it was called an axe for a sec, so I don't say anything, but it is an axe. This is a really cool, just like makeup gif. Mm. Another window gif, more about the pie than it is the window, but I love the pie cooling in the window. I love this one. I think it's so cool. I hadn't seen anything like it. I really love like an easel gif. Um, there's one that I always see floating around that's like an easel gif with the sky like moving in it, and I, I just love that. I love that this one says angel. This one was funny, just sort of like food burning on a stove. I thought this one was a little weird. Um, it's definitely like a pixel gif. I feel like pixel graphics or like pixel gifs are really um, cutesy or um, like pretty and so I really like the idea of combining that with fish. So that's what attracted me to it. Then I just picked up these three um, really simple spinning cake gifs. I think I have a series of spinning gifs here. There, I have the spinning mugs. Um, they were all in the same post. And then I have the flowers. And I like that there's a little bit of delay with them. Like I said earlier, I like the delayed GIF experience. So I got those in a couple of colors. There's a yellow one up there. You get the point. I also got 
more, these are where the other split ones are. I knew I had them somewhere, but these are the other split um, tomato, which I thought it was really funny that there was a split tomato, so I had to take it, obviously. This is just some quaint country gingham. You know how in style all of that is right now. Like, gingham is super in style. I wonder why that is. I don't know how trends work. I love this weird spooky piano with like the kind of like Mickey Mouse hands playing it, but it's like a ghost. I don't know. I thought it was cool. It's very cute. <laughs> I love this one so much. I love bears. They're so sweet. I'm just watching it and I'm just like, I love, I love it. I'm just like so happy to go to bed. Oh, I think, is he waiting? He's not waking up, though, because the, it's still nighttime outside. I don't know. It's really, really sweet. M more bear gifts. Please send them my way or send me links. This, I thought, was just, like, random because I don't think fairies lay eggs, but what do I know? Maybe I, I haven't really um, done a lot of fairy reading up on fairies in a long time, so... Maybe they do? Do fairies lay eggs? I thought it was a cute little button and I'm sure this was someone's website a long time ago or a link on someone's website. I love the pig uh, drinking tea or coffee. I don't know. Thought, think she's really sweet. Love the flower in her hair. Love the flower on the tape. I just love the whole scene. It's just beautiful. So I had to get it. This is just another simple window. This is another bear in their house. It looks like a bird um, outside and the bear's looking out the window. Yeah, it's just a very beautiful scene. Love this little tea gift. I never see stuff like this. I've seen this one a bunch and I'm actually surprised that I downloaded it because I think I have it already. I like dividers. I find that people don't really use them anymore, but it's good to have them on hand. I, I like the nail polish one. I love the color red. Easy. I'm not super big on the outline around everything. Sometimes I find that gifts can get a little... They're not... Sometimes they're like not... I, it's not that they have to be high quality because obviously they aren't, but... That I, sometimes I think that they get a that like sometimes they're like a little too distressed for my liking. The colors together look very strange. I feel like it's like missing a color. I know it's not. Maybe it's just the ones on the end. I don't know. I always imagine a box of crayons to be like a little more rainbow. And I think that the end, the black and the brown and the silver and the white sort of like throw it off in a way. Thought this teacup was very strange, um, very, very strange. Don't know when I'm going to use that, but all right. I love flower graphic. I love flower gifts. I love blooming flower gifts. I can't get enough. I have so many. They look so good. This one was beautiful. I wouldn't be surprised if I already had it, but it's fine. I don't think I do, though. I don't think I do. Also love patterned background, moving patterned backgrounds, little squares. Um, I think they're really good to have on hand. I literally wish that there were more tiled backgrounds. <sighs> backgrounds are very important. That being said, I have a really boring background on my desktop right now, and it's really funny because normally I don't. Normally I would never have this, so I apologize for the lackluster background, but you got enough going on with the gifts, so it's all right. Um, here's another one, raindrops, looks amazing, you know, you know this feel. This one I really liked, um, I thought it was really unique, the watering can with the flowers. I loved this clothesline because it was moving. All of the other clothesline ones I got were stills, so yeah, I thought this one was really unique and really interesting and it would make a really cute divider. Definitely like an older graphic, um, definitely more of a vintage feel, but very cute. Um, I love their just like little squiggly mouths. They're so sweet. And then this is very reminiscent of that. Um, I just thought it was really cute. I think it would look good anywhere, honestly. Um, you know me. Like I've said, bears. 
This one I've seen a bunch and I think I never really bothered to pick it up, but I don't know, I was feeling, um, I was like feeling in the mood to get these little winking ice creams this time around, so here they are. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Okay, wow, I really got a lot because I'm still going through it. This is a box full of music. I actually don't really like this one that much now that I'm looking at it again. It's like, it's okay. I can see it like kind of being a problem in the future, maybe like overlaid on stuff, but I think by itself it's all right. I love this Snapple gift. I remember Snapple being such a big like part of my tween experience. I feel like Snapple was really in style. I always think about Snapple and like the death of Snapple and obviously Snapple is still a product and um, people still drink it and whatever. It's not like it's like extinct or anything. But I remember it sort of being more like on people's minds or um, a more go-to beverage. But I just feel like, you know, with the wave of like health and um, sort of like aesthetic departure into like other... I don't know, like clean cleanliness and like um, other sorts of things. Maybe it's just not as interesting to people anymore. Or maybe everyone's like, oh, it's too much sugar, X, Y, Z. Like I need it to be... It's all about branding. And I think Snapple just didn't really change with the times. But honestly, I'm ready to bring Snapple back. Like, it's good, right? I don't remember. I actually don't remember what Snapple tasted like. My One of my, my best friends growing up was like obsessed with Snapple, but... I never really got into it, but I don't know, I'm gonna give it a shot. That and corn nuts, love corn nuts, wish those were a thing. Really cute little welcome mug, rainbow vibes. Uh, I love how much effort they put into making the letters like appear and like dance. I think it's a really nicely made gift. Um, thumbs up. This is a really cool toaster, toast gift. Sometimes I can't tell when things were made, like this one is also one that sort of defies time because it sort of looks like a pixel gift, but which I believe to be a little bit newer, but then it also like a lot of old gifts also just look like that and it doesn't adopt the same like cuteness um, as pixel gifts do, so here is some jam. I love the jam. I love the bears. I feel like, oh, the, the tiny, I was like... What are these bears doing? Yes, they're feeding each other honey. It's so sweet. <laughs> His like, mouth is open. Very sweet. Thumbs up. I love butterflies. I'm actually surprised that I don't have that many butterfly gifts this time around. I feel like that's usually the bulk of my... Um, my hoarding. It combines butterflies and windows, which are two things that I really like to see in gifts. And it also, they're monarch butterflies, and I love monarch butterflies. This is, okay, so I was on Neopets in early, very early 2000s. It must have been like 2001. 2000 maybe I don't remember but I but since I haven't revisited Neopets since maybe 2004 and I, I think it's still a site but I want to say this is a character from Neopets but it is the shape of asparagus and I'm wondering if there was an asparagus paintbrush maybe there was like a vegetable paintbrush because you used to be able to like have your pets and then you could buy these paintbrushes that change them into like a a different thing like change their coat or whatever I was really into fairies at the time so I really coveted the fairy paintbrush and I think I even had one and one of my neopets was a fairy painted fairy I can't remember what it did though it must have just given you wings I don't know but anytime I see anything that references like neopets I I have to get it because I'm trying to from, like I'm just trying to like refresh my memory and it was just such an important part of my development so I just need that I need to like understand that so if anyone knows exactly what this is like completely referencing 
let me know or like the name of the pet or the name of the paintbrush or just any information you have at all or even like the year let me know please comment down below and let me know here's some more jam here's a spinning ice cream that's been eaten like a little bit's been eaten out of it I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't like really see what I'm doing but there's another jam I really went jam crazy apparently I just love jam some more mushrooms that I didn't get on the mushroom site that's not a mushroom site spinning mushrooms very cool okay so I already I checked and I already had all of these I think I believe these are petunias correct me if I'm wrong I'm not the best with flower names but just these little like shaking petunia flowers that I think are really sweet, but I already have them. So I think I'll just be deleting these. But it's fine, I already have them. Very cute little pixel graphic of a hamburger and french fries. I wish that when I went out to eat, my french fries came in a container like that. That is so sweet. And I love little sparkles. I More sparkles, please. I love this gif. I think it's really cool. I don't know what it's from. I don't know if it's from like a, a video game or if it's referencing anything or if it's just like a standalone sort of gif that someone made. Um, if anyone has any more information about that, let me know because I, I, I have like a couple of gifts that I really love in my collection and there's one of a, a person falling asleep on a desk and then their ghost like coming out of their body and like hit like waking them up basically and I feel like this is really similar to that one so I'm wondering if like the same person made it or like what the connection is spinning umbrella you know you know me the world with the hearts around it is just a yeah pretty good another neopat gift this time it it's not transparent, which I don't like, um, but easily transparentable, so it's fine. And also another Neopad, so you see here and here. Also a paintbrush vibe, or maybe not. The mystery continues. I love this one! Oh yeah! Oh, it's so satisfying to watch. Ooh, this is definitely something because I see Jigglypuff in there and like a Pokemon vibe. Is it just all Pokemon? Forgive me, I didn't play Pokemon. Fourth grade, Pokemon cards were huge in my school and they got banned in my school. And I was just on some other planet where I every single person in school was playing Pokemon and playing Pokemon cards. And I was like, I don't know what that is. So I I just completely missed the boat on Pokemon. So I think this might just be a Pokemon reference, but it's so satisfying to watch. <sighs> Love this. I've seen different versions of the sort of like charm bracelet gif. Um, this one obviously has dogs on it and maybe some Easter stuff. Love it. Love that. I love this egg. This one's also really satisfying. I feel like all my satisfying gifts are at the end of my haul for some reason. This one's really weird. <laughs> this one's so messed up. It's like a smiling clown mug with coffee in it, but then there's like, is that steam? It's so demonic. Like, I want to know if there's more. Like, I only found this one, but, like, I would love to see more. This is just, like, a retro throwback, like, network, like, computer network, like, internet, blah, blah, blah. Love a balloon gif. Love balloons. Been obsessed with balloons. Can't stop thinking about balloons. Really, just love balloons. I actually wish I had more balloons in this collection, but... That's fine. I'm slowly getting them when I see them. The only thing I think I don't like about this gift is that it sort of has a clear beginning and end, and I guess, or like, you know, like a top and a bottom where it cuts off, but I'll make do. I'll find a place for it. This, I think I got from a different 
uh, Tumblr page. This is also a Tumblr GIF. Clearly, you can see by the file names um, below them. But this is an icon um, GIF, and icons were really sort of big during MySpace era, like LiveJournal, Zynga, those sorts of like AIM icon, buddy icons. Like, although the AIM buddy icon was much smaller, I believe. This one's just a really simple, like, so iconic, skull and crossbones, black and neon pink, pump. Perfect. Love it. Great. This one is great because it's just referencing itself. It's just like, I love this graphic. This is just so funny. Um, I don't know who made this. Someone made it, I believe, in 2012. So it's kind of a newer one um, for the design of it. Love this lighter, and then it sort of like shoots out a little heart before it turns into the flame. Um, love that. I think it's really cute. I love that it bounces. I think it's really unique. Um, I haven't seen really anything like it. This one I was on the fence about, but I ended up getting it anyway. I don't really care about cats, as you can see through my haul. Like, I haven't really referenced cats at all, and like, cats are like a big piece of content. Usually I don't go for cat things, but this one I allow. Love this one, love MySpace, love icons. You looked better on MySpace. That was such a like thing that people said. I could go on for days about the implications of that and also what that means, but um, let's just leave it at that for now. This one's really cute, definitely like a cute little pixel graphic. It says, have a sweet day. So this one clearly says angel, but looks like a devil. So, you know, you get it like 50% angel, 50% devil. This one, I don't know if you're going to be, I don't know how like well you're going to be able to see these, so I apologize if they're kind of hard to see, but this is a little like Blinky? I think they're called Blinkies. Um, this one says I change my layout frequently and I feel that. Oh, this is a really cute um, get well soon gift. Glitter graphic. Um, I don't really like um, hospital themed or like syringe themed um, graphics. I think they're fine. I actually don't even know why I got this one. I think it's fine. Oh, and then here's a series of heart divider gifts that I thought were really sweet. Um, gotta get some of those. And then I like this really shoddy gothic glitter graphic. It's clearly only two frames and it's kind of poorly made. And I like it. Oh, and another heart divider. I love the scribbly hearts. I, they're so... 2005 emo to me so and the last couple I think are not from the the place because um, they're icons and so this one says for those of you that can't read it it says I want to be remembered as the girl who always smiles even when her heart is broken and the one that could always brighten up your day even if she couldn't brighten her own I love that little font that they use um I, I, I just love like tiny text and like blinking. This one says, I'm the type of girl who will burst out laughing in dead silence because of something that happened yesterday. They laugh because I'm different, I laugh because they're the same. True. Just like iPods, hearts are being played all over the world. I love that. Um, I had an iPod. Nano, it was pink, and then I had one of the bigger iPods. I actually got like a piece of candy stuck in the the ear jack, the headphone jack, and I took it to the Apple store and they like couldn't get it out. And so I don't know what happened to it. I feel like maybe I got rid of it. I feel really bummed out now. I love it when people sort of like use Christmas colors not for Christmas themed stuff. Um, these are all the same. I just got them in different colors because I couldn't get enough. They're all kind of different sizes, which is a little weird. But I got these also from another website. I think it's um, called Beauty is Worth a Gift. And this one is from there too. So those, the last five are from there. And I'll link that below as well. Okay, wow. 
That, I don't even know how long that took. That was crazy. So those are my gifts. I'm going to put them away now so that I have a free, clutter-free desktop and I can move on with my life. But I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you like these types of videos, um, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of mine, you should click subscribe um, down below. I am super open to taking requests. Um, just let me know what you want me to do. I hope you have a super good day and I will see y'all later. Okay, bye!